This is Dana Susan Beasley of Angel Art Stuff Is, and I'm continuing a series on transforming stress into blessings. Before I get started, if you would like to get a free Blessings devotional plan, look below for the link. This PDF resource has tons of verses on blessed, blessing, and blessed that will with that will provide you devotionals for months and bless your socks off. Now let's get to today's devotional. First, I will start with prayer. Thank you, Lord, that you give power to, you, to your people as well as incredible love. Help us to live in that power and love day by day. In Jesus' name, amen. The scripture for today is Joshua seventeen fourteen, New American Standard Bible. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Then the sons of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given me only one lot and one portion for an inheritance, since I am a numerous people whom the Lord has thus far blessed? Here are my thoughts on this passage, and I hope you find this encouraging. Obstacles. What are they to the Lord's people whom he has blessed? The advances of the enemy, the unforgiving terrain, they were surmountable because God has given Joseph's people great power. What are obstacles I face? <laughs> A lot of them. Personally, disorganization, lack of finances, yep, that's true, lack of significant friendships. Well, as I wrote this years ago, boy, that has become so much better. And really, overall, so is our finances. But, you know, being self-employed, we have hills and valleys, and we're in a valley right now. Energy, that's a big one. Nationally, at the time I wrote this, there was the Great Recession, the threatening socialism in this country that to me is a huge threat. Since originally writing this devotional thought, when I did this in my own private quiet time, God has brought us a long ways, especially with finances, and he continues to bring us a long ways, but like I said, it's not easy. Our, biz our biggest obstacles are these. <laughs> our son's lack of functionality as a result of high-functioning autism, and I could tell you that he has blessed us in so many ways with that. As I wrote this for this book years ago, Sam has come so far, and he has blessed us so much and you know still my lack of energy is a problem that's definitely a huge obstacle for us now along with clutter and disorganization that is huge for us and like I said there are hills and valleys when you're self-employed and we are facing one of those valleys but I have to remember and this is good for me to read this now too because it encourages me. But if God is with me, all these obstacles are surmountable. Do I believe it? And like I said, the obstacles I listed in here, like our son's height, our son's challenges with autism, he has improved so, so much. Just the other day, in the last couple of days, actually, he's been, he's my apprentice for my business and he does graphic arts for me and he does 3D modeling for my husband and he made this beautiful well he he created this graphic for me for for a speech that I'm going to be presenting and it was so inspiring to me what he came up with what he found was a picture of an old medieval door that was half open and it just spoke to me about how we need to, how I wanted to open doors for my son. You know, I was very, very inspired by Temple Grandin a long time ago with, with the movie that, that started Claire Dane. And I just remember crying, thinking, my, I need to open doors for my son. And so then he comes up with this graphic, and I'm just blown away, and it inspired me so much. That's just a little example of how far he has come, and that, that is by God's grace and leading. And so, yes, the obstacles are surmountable. And it's good to remember those kinds of things. So how do I respond? How do we respond to knowing, you know, this verse and reading this verse? Because I always want to have a practical application and not just read it and go away and never think about it. So 
For me, that was to realize that God has given me great power. We have dunamis power. We have resurrection power. So I need to keep praying for abundance. So I definitely need to do that. I need to pray for blessing, engage in spiritual warfare, and keep doing the things that God has called me to do, which is why I am doing these podcasts. So my challenge to you is to, for you to ask yourselves, what are obstacles that you face? Take on the battle by facing the giants in your life. The most important thing you can do is to go to God in prayer and to pray with others. Spend some time engaged in spiritual warfare. Do not let the enemy defeat you, but keep fighting by putting on the whole armor of God and never forget that he loves you more than you can ever imagine, so much that he died for you so you could live. Now, I always like to have an activity for families, so have your kids create the parts of God's armor out of cardboard or some other material. Then spend some time in prayer specifically to engage in spiritual warfare. But be sure to ask for protection in Jesus' name. Satan doesn't like it when we fight back, and he is a bully to the weak, especially our children. All right, let me end in prayer. Oh, loving and powerful God, thank you that you gave us power to overcome obstacles. Thank you that nothing is impossible with your son. Help us to continually worship you with all our hearts, souls, and minds, and protect us from the evil one as we keep believing in your willingness and ability to bless us extravagantly. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all for the day. Tomorrow, I will continue my series on transforming stress into blessings. Again, if you want the free devotional plan, check the link below. And on that same link, you will find opportunities to go deeper with these scriptures, to find out more about my 31-day blessings journey and my blessings day journal. Check all that out in the description box below. So with that, I'm going to leave you with my favorite blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.